lesson naman po natin ngayon for today is Empirical Formula and Molecular Formula. At hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe? Uh, subscribe na po, like, and get notified. Hit the notifi- notification bell and get notified for all new videos natin po. So, tara. Start our discussion. Empirical Formula. F for short. Ano ba ang empirical formula? Based on the definition, it gives the simplest number ratio of atoms present in a compound. It is literally the simplest form. And, uh, lagi niyang kasama siyempre sa molecular formula. Ano naman ang molecular formula? As defined, it is the opposite of the empirical formula in a way that molecular molecular formula gives the actual number of atoms. formula. So, through the use of mass percentage of the given elements. Ayan. So, uh, paano ba kung ano yung mass percentage? Ibangan natin yung susunod pang video. Ibigay ko sa inyo doon. Paano ba kung ano yung mass percentage naman? So, ito yung step by step solution natin. Meron tayong 7 steps. First, two tayo. Make the given mass percentage of each elements to grams. Ayan natin yung mass percentage into grams. And then, find the moles of each element by dividing the element with their atomic mass. And then, obtain the mole ratio by dividing the mole number with the smallest number of the moles. factor that relates the empirical formula and molecular formula. Okay. And then, panghuli, for the final step, multiply the subscript of the empirical formula using the answer that you got on step 6. Okay. So, sample tayo. Example sa pagkuha ng empirical formula. Okay. A compound is analyzed and calculated to consist of 13.5 grams of carbon, 10.8 grams of oxygen, and 0.675 grams of hydrogen. Find the empirical formula of the compound. Okay, paano yan? Ito yung first step natin. Ano? Start by converting the mass of each element into moles by looking up the atomic numbers from the periodic table. So, the atomic masses of the elements are the following. Ito na, ano? 40.01 grams per mole for calcium, 16.0 grams per mole for oxygen, and 1.01 grams per mole for hydrogen. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, let's proceed to the uh, operation. So, first, uh, ano natin, ano? First uh, solution. So, yung 13.5 grams na, na carbon, mumultiply natin sa number of mole niya, then divided by the mass, the 40.1 grams. So, makukuha natin is 0. 0, uh, 0. 0.337 mole of calcium. So, na-convert na natin yung mass to mole. Ito yung number one natin step, no? Mass to mole. And then, gagawin din natin sa iba pang mga element. So, for oxygen, ang given natin, ayun, no? 10.8 grams of oxygen. Times natin sa 1 mole of oxygen divided by 16.0 grams of oxygen. So, since ito ay 1 lang, so 10.8 times 1, still 10.8 divided by 16. Ito yung circuit na, no? 0.675 mole of oxygen. Ayan. And then, pang huli, yung uh, hydrogen. 0.675 grams of hydrogen times, for every 1 mole of hydrogen, or we have 1.01, di ba? So, 1 mole of hydrogen divided by 1.01 grams of hydrogen. So, still, uh, makukuha natin dito is... Uh, 
divided by 1.01 0.668 mole of hydrogen Ayan. so next step tayo sunod natin divide each mole amount by the smallest number or moles which is dito sa mga nakuha nating figures yung kanina kukunin daw natin yung pinakamababa no? ano yung pinakamababa? yun, yung calcium 0.337 mole so ito yung gagamitin nating uh, pan-divide sa lahat na yan so yun, ito, itong uh, calcium muna tayo 0.337 mole of calcium divided by its cells was to 1 then 0.675 mole of oxygen divided by 0.337 equals to 2 2 mole of oxygen and 0.668 mole of hydrogen divided by 0.337 1.98 okay pag ni-round up mo to yes, eh, dito na rin ano po 2 ayan ayun nakuha na natin yung mga number okay ulitin natin sa nanggaling to pinundivide natin ano tandaan nyo yung pinakamababang pinakamababang number na nakuha natin dito sa kangina yun yung gagamitin natin pan-divide sa kanilang lahat at ang pinakamababa tandaan ito yun ano yung calcium siya yung pan-divide natin sa lahat na yan now you have the value of the empirical formula. We need to plug na lang ito, no? So, pag plug natin, ano, ayan, ayan. This is the example of how to get the empirical formula. Okay? okay. Is that uh, example a little work was already done? Since we didn't have to get the weight of each element from the mass percentage. Okay? So, next example tayo. Balikan natin yan yung kanya. Balikan natin. So, nakuha na natin ito, no? Uh, ang magiging ano niya na, no? uh, uh, hindi ko na isulat pala, so, lagyan na lang natin, ang magiging empirical formula niya, since ito ay 1, ito ay 2, ay hydrogen ay 2, pag sinulat natin yan, magiging C, tapos wala ng number, pagka 1, hindi na sinusulat, H2O2. Yan na, yun nakuha nating number na yan. C, H2O2. Okay? Okay. Now, an example of getting the molecular formula naman. And dito naman, simulan natin sa naka-percent. Ito yung complete uh, uh, mula sa simula. Okay? Nagmula sa percentage composition to. So, ang given natin, 40.0% carbon, 6.71% hydrogen, and 53.3% oxygen. And its molecular mass is 60.05 grams per mole. So, solution. First step. Okay, convert muna natin to ano gawin natin si ng grams. So yung 40.0 degrees uh, 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 percent calcium a uh, uh, carbon, sorry, carbon magiging 40.0 grams carbon. Ito naman po 6.71 uh, percent of hydrogen magiging 6.71 grams of hydrogen. Okay, so oxygen 53.3% uh, of oxygen magiging 53.3 grams of oxygen. Step 2. Uh, ito na, gawin na natin silang mole. So, yung 40.0 grams na carbon, okay, ta-times natin sa uh, molar mass ng carbon. Ano ba yung molar mass ng carbon? Uh, ang carbon, uh, sa periodic table, pag tinignan natin ang kanyang uh, molar mass or atomic weight, 12.001 uh, 12 grams. So, yun yung gagamitin natin for every 1 mole of carbon, equivalent siya sa 12.011 grams of carbon. So, 40 times 1 divided by 12 is 3.33. Para ka na, kay hydrogen naman, yung 6.71 grams times natin sa 1 mole of hydrogen divided by 1.008. Ito yung nasa periodic table nga, no? So, we have uh, 6.66 mole. And for oxygen, 53.3 grams of oxygen times natin sa 1 mole divided by the atomic was or atomic weight 15.999 grams or 16 also same din yan ano? konti lang yung discrepancy yan so magiging 3.33 mole yan so nakuha na natin yung mga ano nya no? okay so uh, ano susunod na step step 3 okay kunin natin yung may pinakamababang value sa kangina ano yung pinakamababang value 3.33 oh, ayan 3.33 so yun ang pandi-divide natin sa kanilang lahat. So, 3.33 mole divided by 3.33 mole is equals to 1. For hydrogen naman, 6.66 mole divided by 3.33 mole is equals to 2. At uh, sa oxygen, 3.33 divided by 3.33 mole is equals to 1. So, ang mole ratio natin na nakuha is 1 for carbon, 2 for hydrogen, and 1 for oxygen. So, fourth step. Okay, uh, uh, ang gagawin na natin, ilalagay na natin yung mga nakuha nating number na yan 
as a subscript nila para maging empirical formula na siya. So, carbon 1, hindi na sinasulat pagka yun, ano? Hydrogen 2, ayan, and then oxygen 1. So, CH2O. Yan ngayon ang ating empirical formula. So, tuloy natin kasi kasabi, kasabi kang ina po hindi natin yung molecular formula. So, tuloy lang natin. Ano, step 5 na tayo. Sa step 5 naman, gagamitin natin itong mga number na nakuha natin na ito, no? sa empirical formula. Para makuha niyo yung grams per mole naman ito. O yung kanyang molar mass. So, yung carbon dito, 1 times natin sa kanya uh, atomic mass which is 12.001 sa magiging 12.011 uh, pa rin siya grams per mole hydrogen 2 times 1.008 so magiging 2.016 grams per mole oxygen 1 pa rin so still ganun pa rin 15.999 grams per mole and then add them all together so ano kuha natin na molar mass niya uh, ay 30.026 grams per mole okay so gamitin natin yan mamaya ano? so step 6 tayo So, ang molar mass ng molecular formula or uh, molar mass of the empirical formula is equal to N. N would be a value that will be used to multiply the subscript of the empirical formula. Yung N natin is equal to 60.05 grams per mole divided by 30.026 grams per mole. So, saan nang galing itong 60 na ito? Ito yung given kangina mula pa dun sa simula sa problem natin. Given yan. Itong 30, ito yung nakuha natin kangina dun sa empirical formula. So, 60.05 divided by 30.026 is equals to 2. So, itong ito ngayon na yan, gagamitin natin yan sa step 7. Ito yung nakuha natin kangina ng empirical formula. So, itatimes natin yan sa 2. Bakit 2? Yun yung nakuha natin yan sa step 6. So, 2 times 1 equals to 2. 2 times 2 is equals to 4 and 2 times 1 is equals to 2. So, this is the value we need to have in order to have to get the molecular formula. So, ang molecular formula ngayon natin ay C2H4O2 at ang empirical formula naman niya ay CH2O. Ayan. So, you can get the empirical formula with the use of the molecular formula. Diretso lang. Ano? Simple. Just by uh, finding, ha? Just by pa... Just by finding the highest number that you can use to divide the molecular formula. Okay. From the last example, we had uh, we had C2H4O2. To get the empirical formula, we just have to find the highest number that we can use to divide all of the numbers stated, which is 2. Okay, si simplify natin, di ba? Since we can divide all of them with 2, our empirical formula would be CH2O. In this method, to make it easier, just think of it as a fraction when you need to find the lowest term of a fraction. Laging tatandaan, not every equation or problem is the same. So, uh, sometimes you have to think outside the box. Okay? So, thank you po sa pakikinig and have a nice day. See ya!